Hi, in this video, we are going to cover newly introduced analytics in inventory. This analytics is majorly uh, help or assist inventory managers or storeroom managers, giving them a comprehensive view or 360 degree view of organization's inventory and its transactions. As part of this release, we have introduced two new subject areas, which are asset stock item details and asset stock transactions. Stock item details. Using this subject area, organizations can slice and dice, get insights about stocks and will be able to use multiple key attributes of the stock item. They will be able to identify on-hand quantity, out-of-stock items, below minimum quantity, below safety stock, etc. Um, stock transactions. This subject area will give details of all the stock transactions that had happened on a particular stock giving insights on stock transfer receipts order reserves etc um, we have uh, introduced a new project or a dashboard on inventory so let's have a quick demo of that this is the inventory uh, project and uh, we have developed this project using two subject areas which is asset st stock item details and asset stock transactions as you can see uh, stock item details we have different dimensions on stock item details and storeroom where you can slice and dice the data we have out of the box uh, calculations which talks about ev total inventory available value out of the stock uh, receipts percentage of total inventory and many more Similarly, the asset stock transactions, now this can be sliced and diced based on acceptance initiated by inventory, material issues, physical count, return, stock item details, storeroom, and we, um, and it has also has multiple uh, different measures or calculations available out of the box, which is inventory and receipt in transfer on order, etc. This dashboard uh, consists of around seven canvases the first one is on the inventory summary which gives the overall view of the inventory at the organization level which tells you about number of stock items which is available the total inventory value for those stock items how many are capital spares out of which how many are out of the stock how many are below safety stock etc the three graphs below gives an idea about your uh, inventory valuation basically dividing it based on the stock item detail class like how much is inventory inventory lot and inventory track or the top 10 stock item category where the inventory value is the highest like in this case the poll has the highest inventory value and the third one talks about the capital spares and the inventory value against each capital spares now the next canvas is on the ABC analysis. So we all know how important ABC analysis is for an organization. It's an inventory management technique that determines the importance of the stock item based on its usage and value. In this dashboard, organizations can view how they are uh, doing or how their stocks are doing on the ABC classification like over here if you can see almost 37.85 percent or 67 stocks does not have ABC classification done at the organization level and it also gives a view of the inventory value where how much percentage of the inventory value does not have ABC classification the ABC classification by storeroom so this particular visualization is an interesting one where you will get an idea about how at a storeroom level the what is the percentage of the total of the number of stock items and the inventory value and how each one is doing at the abc classification right uh, so uh, you can see that okay there are 25 percent of the stock items in central storeroom where you don't have the abc classification done and similarly for north carlton there is 30 percent central yard has say, close to 70 percent stocks where ABC classification is not done. So we can definitely look uh, into this. You can select like, for example, you want to do deep down uh, on the central storeroom part. So you can do the keep selection and your central storeroom values will get refreshed. 
The bottom one gives the details about what is the storeroom, the stock item category, the stock item information and its classification plus the inventory valuation. The another key thing is the inventory value issued in last 12 months. So this particular calculation tells you in past 12 months what is the inventory which got issued and how much is the value for those. So this can be a good input for understanding whether the classification of an inventory is correct or not or if you want to make a modification moving to the next uh, canvas which is the storeroom so now this canvas gives a view at the storeroom level uh, for an organization it divides the inventory value by storeroom and it shows the number of stocks each storeroom has in it the right hand side visualization talks about the stock item distribution by category across storerooms so for example like how many uh, like central storerooms how many stocks are bearing belt chemical cleaning supply and all so we can easily see at one place like how a particular stock item category is distributed across different storerooms for from an item availability perspective now you can see some red um, boxes in it, uh, in this this depicts that there are some items which are out of the stock like for example the electrical equipment supply if i hover i can see that there is one particular stock within electrical equipment supply which is out of the stock from the central storeroom similarly in the north carlton i can see another one which is out of the stock so this gives a view where you can see which I, how many items each storeroom has for a different category and out of which how much is the out of the stock items the bottom uh, one gives you the inventory value over max. Now inventory value over max is an important um, criteria of validating how much the uh, inventory we are keeping or the value of the inventory we are keeping over the max value which is allowed for the optimal value of an in stock to be kept in an inventory. But, uh, this inventory value over max calculation what you can see here is basically been done through a custom calculation over here so you can find this inventory value over max calculation in my calculation sections now we have shown this uh, calculation to uh, to just to showcase that how the already available measures and dimensions can be used to come up with, uh, come up with your own calculations now moving to the next one which is the vendor details now in this particular canvas we have introduced the maps for the first time in our canvases uh, this dashboard showcase your supply chain distribution in a sense like wh where geographically your vendors are distributed and what are the different storerooms they supply the stock items they supply and what are the current values of those stock items in your inventory part now how you can use this is like for example we know that in atlanta sometime back we had a um, we had a geographic um, we have a weather issues so we can actually select the atlanta region and can select it and this will show me the different vendors which are supplying to my different storerooms and the different stock items so i can easily validate how much inventory on hand i have how much on demand whether those can be fulfilled if the inventory gets affected uh, or if the supply chain gets affected because of the weather conditions in atlanta but so this gives a very good view about your supply chain and how it can it will be affected based on some of the um, climatic issues or any other issues in a particular region but now moving to the next canvas which is the inventory analysis in this we have shown like three different graphs which talks about the top 10 stock items which are under stock and the stock items which are currently on demand and stock items which are currently on order but now for example in this um, we can see that this particular pie it is 
highly understocked where the total inventory were available is minus 347 so we need to understand like what happened i mean what where is the demand so we can keep selected here and we will see that basically the items current demand is 425 and it is uh, availability is minus 347 and that means that we need to order this item but there is no open orders to it we can also further see these using the stock item details canvas in which and this particular we know that okay it is the requirement at the central yard storeroom where i can see that we have inventory on demand as 425 but inventory on hand is only 78 that leads to the inventory availability in negative part similarly we can also see the stock uh, stock transactions details like what all transactions has happened for this particular stock at any point of time uh, where stock uh, transaction detail canvas will give details about how much was transferred ordered reserved or in demand for that particular stock item well that concludes this video thanks for watching it